grant updates. You know, we've got um, a few things I think we, we've got to have just some formal action taken. One is the, the when we're our building our concession stand and the bathroom building. Um, some odd years ago, the town adopted the 2009 energy code in new constructions. Um, I'm not well versed on what that means, but um, the architect suggested, and I checked with Steve Nelson, he agreed um, that if the town will formally waive that requirement for these two construction projects, it'll save the town a substantial amount of money. Um, the reason he, Steve, um, thinks that's a good idea is because these are basically unoccupied buildings. There's not people right. working out of them mm -hmm. more than a couple hours of night for a few weeks out of the summer. Um, or certainly not living in them. Um, I think that energy code requirement has something to do with the amount of insulation or types of insulation or type of building materials that's being used. So, um, yeah, I think, um, I don't know if the park board can do that, if the BMA needs to do that, or if it just kind of comes like a recommendation from the park board to the BMA, but I'm gonna hang around for that meeting just in case they have any questions as well. But I think just to cover all our bases, I'd like to request that you all approve the way of that requirement. Okay. No, I'll, I'll make, make it. Yeah. I'll make a motion. Second. Anybody? Who's second? All three. All three. Uh, uh, it's three second. I'm going to let Matthew and Steve Nelson speak on this more than me, but uh, we need to add to the agenda to approve to waive the 2009 Energy Code requirement for construction of the concession stand in the restroom building at uh, the Rockville City Park. So I'll let you guys talk about that about adding that to the agenda and getting permission. <coughs> so I, I'll add it, add it to the agenda. Okay. So this so. Move to the second. Roll call. Roll call. Yeah. Yeah. Danny? Aye. Uh, Eloise? Aye. Uh, Todd? Aye. Uh, Sonda? Uh, Brian? Aye. Uh, for all? Aye. Uh, what I've been told, um, I guess the town adopted that energy code some time ago. Um, knowing that both of these buildings are unoccupied, they're, they're um, at the concession stand will only be in operation for a few weeks out of each year, for a few hours each night during that time. Um, you know, I talked with architect who's designing it uh, they requested us to look into waiving that requirement to save substantial construction costs um, I'm not even sure what the energy code requirement is Steve probably knows a lot more about that than I do but um, he was in favor and recommended that as well so fairly accurate Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, 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 would, it would take a, a, a lot because you have to get R15 in the walls, uh, which means you're going to have to stutter it out rather than just going with the block. It, it's it's going to be a considerable amount of money. And for the, the amount the building's going to be used, I just couldn't see. But I couldn't just wave it myself. That's great. Yeah. I'll make a motion. It just seems like makes too much sense. I mean, yeah. no burner. So. I'll second. Moved and second. Any other discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Disapproved? No. Is there anything else to add? That's everything you need. Yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs>